important video on 22.6. In this video, I'm going to show an extended example, Keys and Doors, using Harlow 3.3. So we know from our previous knowledge that we can use the set macro within Arlo to create a variable. We can also change the value of a variable using the same macro. We can also access the value of a variable by using the name of the variable within a passage. But how do we use all of this knowledge? What does it do for us? So let's look at a pretty common example that we see within interactive digital stories. We want to kind of gate or otherwise prevent a reader from moving to a certain location until they have done a particular action. So let's set up the scenario here. I'm interested in creating basically two requirements. The first is, is that the reader will be able to move around multiple locations except for the ending passage, and I have four existing passages here. And the second requirement is that a, a reader will be able to access the ending passage if they have acquired a key named the variable key, if the value of key is zero, the door is locked to the ending. Otherwise, if the key is one, the door is unlocked and the reader can access the ending passage. So I have four existing passages right here. And so there's two requirements. There's one, you can move anywhere in here except the ending, in which case you're going to need a key to do so. And alternatively, or secondly, I should say, um, we want to change the value of a variable such that when a reader visits a particular passage, the value of the variable changes and the reader, and the reader has then unlocked door. So let's first create some just connections here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a connection to back room and create a connection to side room. And then I'm going to move over to side room and do the same thing again. We've got front room and we want back room as well. And then finally, moving over to back room, establish the same thing. Front room and uh, side room. Okay, so in the existing code, we can move throughout, which is what I just said, but we can't get over to ending until something happens. So let's kind of talk through that second requirement. What we want to do is basically unlock a door, and we unlock a door by getting a key. Now, I'm kind of talking in metaphorical terms, in the terms of Harlow, in particular in the terms of programming within the story format, we need to think about kind of combinations of two different macros. We're interested in the set macro, we want to create a variable and change its value, and we're also interested in the if macro, we want to create some type of comparison and then act on that comparison in some way. So we know when we work with the set macro, we need to create some type of variable before we can do things with it, which makes perfect sense. In the metaphor of variables as buckets, we need to create the bucket to put something in it to then check to see what's in the bucket. So that kind of first step is needed. So generally, and again, it's recommended that we go ahead and create variables whenever we first need them. And if we're going to be creating something used across multiple passages, just a general pattern to get into is go ahead and create them very early on, usually within the first few passages a story. So let's go ahead and do that now. I will call this key and we'll set it to uh, zero to be locked. Okay. So I've gone ahead and set it to be zero to be locked. And then I want to set it to one when the door is unlocked. So let's go over here in the back room and create this kind of locking. And I'm going to create this locking using again, the if macro, I'm going to create some type of comparison that is checking the value of the variable key. So, okay, if, and then what are we interested in key, and then we want to check is, we're interested in equivalency, or is equal, so is, and then what are we interested in, one. Okay, and then do something. Again, thinking of when we work with the if macro, we're creating kind of English phrasing of, if this comparison is true, do this, and the thing right here in single uh, brackets is the do this. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and provide a link to the ending. Now notice I was pretty careful right here about working with kind of extra space. This is just a good pattern to get into. Um, just so you don't confuse single brackets with double brackets, the kind of extra uh, space between the square brackets can just help you as an author, as well as kind of, if you come back to this later by what was I writing? Just a good pattern to get into. Okay. So um, if we arrive in the back room and the key is one, we can go to the ending. 
Okay, fantastic. Um, but where do we want to kind of change it? Well, I've put the establishment of the kind of variable in the front room and we're checking in the back room. Let's go ahead and change it over here in the side room just for kind of the sake here. So we're going to say, okay, set, and then we're interested in changing key and we want to set key to one. Okay. So we've now changed the value the value of the variable. So in the front room, we are creating that variable key. And in the side room, we're changing it to one. And if we visit the back room and key is one, we have access to the ending and we can finally escape. So let's just play what we have so far. Let's go ahead and build and go over to play. So I don't see anything, but that's good. And I can go to back room or side room. Let's go over to back room. And of course, notice we don't see the existing link to ending. Let's go over to side room and it changed. Now let's go to back room. Oh, now we can finally go to ending and we got to the end. So what have we done in this video? Well, we've created keys and doors, right? But we've done so through our existing knowledge of not only links and passages, but well, but the newer knowledge of working with the set and if macros within Harlow. So remember, when we're working with the set macro, we set some value, literally left to right within English. We set some variable to some value. We also noticed that I'm using a particular category of variable, a type of variable within Harlow, a story variable. Once I create it, it exists across the story. It's story-wide variable. So I'm creating key right here to initially be set to zero. And then over here inside room, I'm changing its value. We use the set macro again to either create or change the value of the variable. And now I'm setting it to one. And then if I arrive in the back room as a reader and the key is equal to one, I have access to the ending. So if key is one, looking for something that is equal to something else, I immediately gain access to the ending. So we worked with keys and doors, not terribly complicated within Harlow. We're only using two macros and we're working with our existing knowledge of passages and links to create connections between different locations within a larger one. And then working with our existing knowledge of macros, again, set and if to create that initial key and unlock a particular door. Thanks for watching.